They're everywhere we look. Life without them is unavoidable. Each year, Australians spend more than half a billion dollars on them. That's right, the plastic drink bottle. Between 2009 and 2010, Australia produced nearly 583 million litres of bottled water. In theory, this shouldn't present an environmental issue, as PET is actually a highly recyclable product. This is why it became so popular in the first place. However, the problem lies in putting these desirable recyclable qualities into action. Australia as a whole recycles only 36% of PET plastic drink bottles. However, in South Australia alone, the plastic bottle recycling rate is 74%. This is due to container deposit legislation, which sees a 10 cent refund per plastic bottle, which begs the question, why isn't this a national scheme? A national news poll commissioned by Clean Up Australia found that an overwhelming 82% of Australians support a nationwide scheme of the 10 cent rebate on plastic bottles. In 2010, over 373 million plastic bottles ended up as landfill. And this number is sure to increase as plastic bottle production continues to rise. The production and delivery of one litre of bottled water emits hundreds of times more greenhouse gases than one litre of tap water. Australia's annual use of bottled water generates more than 60,000 tonnes of greenhouse gas emissions, the same amount as 13,000 cars over the course of a year. Plastic bottles are made of a material known as PET, polyethylene terephthalate, a substance derived from crude oil. The production processes and final product are poor in terms of biodegradability. However, there has been much research into greener alternatives and new prototypes are gradually being introduced into the market. One such company that is making a response is PepsiCo, who have recently unveiled the world's first petroleum-free plastic bottle in an effort to further reduce the company's carbon footprint. PepsiCo representative Rohan Chattopade explains the new technology. It's really the breakthrough in bottle technology. The bottle is made from 100% plant-based raw materials such as switchgrass, pine bark and corn husks. We have found ways to create a structure that is identical to the pet plastic bottle. The race to create a petroleum-free bottle was triggered in 2009 when Pepsi's rival Coca-Cola unveiled a 30% plant-based bottle. We started production in 2012 and upon its success we plan to move directly to full-scale com commercialisation. The new bottle will eventually allow for byproducts um, from its connected food businesses such as potato and orange peel to be recycled into plastic bottles. According to a study by the University of Pittsburgh, biopolymers like Pepsi's new plant bottle aren't necessarily cleaner than oil-based polymers because whilst they may beat other plastics in terms of biodegradability, they are actually dirtier to produce than petroleum-derived plastic. Therefore, it seems that regardless of what the bottle is made of, in the long run, the major issue remains the same. Disposal. Whether people are drinking from plant or petroleum-based PET bottles, this will not be enough to change recycling rates. However, in the meantime, some companies are taking it upon themselves to reduce the percentage of plastic bottles ending up in landfill. One such company embracing greener innovation is global surfwear giant Billabong. The company have released a new recycler series which features board shorts made from 100% recyclable materials. The board shorts are manufactured out of a material called Eco Supreme Suede, which is an environmentally friendly material made from recycled textiles and 10 recycled plastic PET bottles. This in turn reduces the number of plastic bottles that end up as landfill. 29-year-old surfer Corey Anderson from Cronulla supports the movement to a greener solution. I like the Billabong Recycler series because each pair of shorts are made from 10 recyclable plastic bottles and I like to think that I'm contributing to reducing the landfill. To date, Billabong have saved over 14 million plastic bottles and this innovation is the first step towards creating a company that sells 100% recycled clothing. Hopefully this effort by Billabong will encourage other companies to invest in sustainable products. However, it cannot be ignored that these figures only represent a small portion of the overall environmental impact and there are many organisations left to deal with the clean-up efforts. Ocean Watch Australia is a non-for-profit environmental company that works to enhance healthy oceans to ensure a sustainable seafood industry in Australia. Andy Myers is the project officer for New South Wales and explains some of the work Ocean Watch conducts. Um, Ocean Watch Australia is a not-for-profit organisation 
that works to uh, advance sustainability in the Australian seafood industry. One big issue in the Australian seafood industry um, is marine debris, um, in particularly uh, things like plastics, uh, last a very long time in the environment and are very detrimental to a lot of marine life. Whilst the news that PepsiCo is researching alternatives to the PET problem reveals that the company is making an effort to be green, Andy remains sceptical as to whether it will make a huge difference. We're going to be faced with the issue of, of disposal and that, um, that social responsibility placed on the community to dispose of their bottles. It is evident that plastic bottle production has a hugely negative environmental impact and despite efforts by companies to contribute to reducing this, there is still a long way to go. Sarah Gillette, UTS News.